Hello, welcome to the Dadco Show. Terry Chu here. So this weekend, I took the kids out uh, for a drive. Do you know how old Daddy is? Uh, one. One, that's right. Oh, not one. maths again. It's a boring one. Well, no, you can make maths, you can make maths a little bit interesting. And as most parents do, you kind of want to teach them some stuff during dead time. I'm your best friend, you are my best friend too. I love it when he calls me his best friend, but that changes very quickly depending on what he wants. Most parents know this, and if you're listening and your kid calls you the best friend, that's great. For me, Jamie likes to call me his best friend when he wants something. It often is because he wants something. I'm your best friend, you are my best friend too. We're gonna go to McDonald's in a bit. Yeah, show your teeth. So, on a Friday night, my tooth first came out, the really lovely one, and, um, and then um, downstairs, we were watching TV, and then my teeth hurt. Daddy tried to pull it out, but he couldn't. So upstairs, we tried to, and then he could with a... With Some tweezers. Tweezers. And it, and it didn't hurt again. Jamie? Are your teeth okay, Jamie? Yeah. Yeah. Show me your teeth. I don't even know why he's wearing sunglasses. It's not, it wasn't even sunny. Good. Good teeth. Good teeth. Because you went to the dentist, didn't you? And the dentist said you were very, very brave. Hands up. Who wants McDonald's? Yeah, yeah I want McDonald's. And what do we want at McDonald's? Happy meal and you would like a burger. Don't, I, haven't, I haven't decided yet. What do you want at McDonald's, Jamie? Yeah. You want chicken? Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. Hey, Jamie, should we do some colours? Basically, at the moment, Jamie is learning about shapes and learning about colours, and he can't quite put the names to colours. Everything seems to be green. Like everything, what's the colour of my hat? Green, what's the colour of my coat? Green. And it turns out he actually does know, uh, he just doesn't know the labels. So that's kind of a little bit more uh, reassuring. But for now, everything is green. Jamie, what colour is Daddy's hat? Uh, green. It's not green, mate. No, black. no. It's black. What colour is your, what colour is your coat? It's green. No, it's not green. It's blue. It's blue. What colour? It's not green. It's not. It's not green. What colour is that light over there? Up there? Can you see up there? What colour is that light? It's not green. It's red. Jamie. Wait, Jamie. What colour is that car over there? Green. Everything's green. Jamie, do you know how old you are? How old are you? Three years old, very good. Do you know how old Daddy is? Uh, one. One, that's right. And how old is Mummy? Uh, two. Two. How old is Kaka? Uh, three. Three, what? I see. Everyone's either one, two or three, you see, because that's all we can count up to. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you something that I really miss. I really miss because of like COVID. I really miss going on holiday. I really miss going on holiday. Who, who likes to go on holiday? Uh, me. And I miss Spain that much. You miss Spain? Where should we go after lockdown is finished? Can I change? No. Picnic. Sorry? Picnic. Picnic? Yeah, we can go on a picnic. Wait, we could probably I, just go on a picnic anyway. Uh, doesn't have to be on holiday. In our garden? We, could, we have a picnic in our garden, yeah. Who's got homework to do today? Me. You got, put your hand up, you got homework. Oh, not maths again. So here's an opportunity. So when you're in the car, you kind of want to teach them some stuff to, that's relative to what they're doing at school, right? Well, you can make maths a little bit interesting, but I think sometimes... How? How can you make it interesting? All right, chill out. So on in this particular occasion, I decided that, hey, let's try and make it a little bit more relatable and fun. Let's talk about centimetres and metres in lengths of strawberry sweets you know like the strawberry lace sweets well natasha loves 
those strawberry lace sweets. And so I thought, hey, let's make it fun in the car. And we've got some strawberry lace sweets. It gets tricky. Okay, let me make this more interesting for you. So does anybody want any strawberry lace sweet? Uh, there isn't any. Uh, I might have some a secret stash. Okay. So if I have 10 centimeters of strawberry lace sweet and I give you five, how many centimeters do I have left? So 10 minus five centimeters. I will give you five. If you get this right, I will give you five centimeters of strawberry lace sweet. Admittedly, five centimeters of strawberry lace sweet wasn't very much of an incentive if you ask me, but I was rolling with it. Oh, five. So I got five left, very good. Okay, you've won yourself five centimeters of lace sweet. Do you want another five? Yeah. Wait, wait, in real life? Wait, in real life, yeah. In real life. Do you want do you, do you want another five? Yes, please. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you more than five. It's five, which is what you already had, yeah. plus 15 centimetres, which is what I'm giving you on top of that. Wow. So what is what is the total amount? Five plus 15. 20, 20 centimetres. Congratulations, you've won 20 centimetres of strawberry lace sweet. In real life. In real life. My daughter is the most skeptical person in the world. Like if I've promised her five centimeters of strawberry lace sweet, she still has to question if I'm actually going to give her five centimeters of strawberry lace sweet because she's she's trusting no one that girl. Who wants more strawberry lace sweet? No, wait, can you give me some now? No, no, not now, later. You can't get your price straight away. Who else wants strawberry lace sweet? Put your hands up. I think 20s in. Just because you didn't want to do the maths? No, 20 is enough. 20 is enough, okay. Do you know sometimes when I look at your homework, all the different ways that schools do maths now really confuses me. They've got like all sorts of circles and like sort of gra and, 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 and sort of grids and wheels and chips and potatoes you almost got to learn the new ways of doing maths so that you can teach them to do maths i really want to count now you really want to count yeah i mean the problem is i don't mind getting a cat natasha it's just that if we get a cat i just know that i'm going to be the one that looks after the cat no, you're not. Yeah, well, Mummy said that about dogs, but then I have to walk Mojo, and I have to pick up Mojo's poo, what? and I have to feed Mojo, and I have to bath Mojo, you know? So, Wait. I'm just a little bit scared that if we get a cat, that I'm going to have to do that with the cat and no, the dog. I want to do the cat. Well, actually, I suppose cats clean themselves, but... We're nearly at McDonald's now. What happened, Jamie? What happened to you? What, what's the matter, mate? You look—you don't look very... Your eye hurts. Your eye. I bet you've poked yourself in the eye, haven't you? Poor little man. Always hurting himself. Look at that man there with the shield on his face. He's very protected. Look, you see him? Look at that man, Jamie. You see him? Over there, across the walk. He's got a shield. So not only has he a mask he's got a shield as well he's protecting himself he's well protected and his eyes and and, and his eyes I want a you want a shield yeah. it's not the kind of shield that you're thinking of mate it's not captain america shield uh hot chocolate that medium, just a medium please and then can i yeah and then can i have two uh happy meals chicken nuggets uh what drink do you want uh, orange, two orange juice. Yeah, ketchup, please. Wait, I'll get Korean a bit. Uh, yeah, and then can I have a chicken sandwich meal uh, with Fanta? <laughs> Why does he look like that? So, I guess like the takeaway is that um, we always try and find these ways to make life learning and education more interesting for our kids but actually we don't even do that ourselves you know like in business and work like no matter what you're doing 
even if you're doing something that you are completely passionate about and it's your dream job, your dream career, your dream business, there will be things within that dream business, dream career and dream job that you don't really like doing certain tasks. Why don't we teach ourselves to make these boring tasks a little bit more interesting, just like we do with our kids? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this podcast, this video. For more, go to www.dadcoshow.com. See you next time.